Well, it's time to get into this and see what the uh, compression ratio is on these four cylinders to see if we can track down why this low vacuum we've got this problem with the low vacuum. So we're going to get in there, get these plugs out and uh, see what we got. I went tight. Yeah, they're burning nice and clean. Hey, I just remembered. I <laughs> I made this uh, tip. I didn't have one to fit the bike, so I made it out of an old spark plug and um, threaded the inside of this and ran that in there. So uh, that fits. Interesting. Okay, so here we go with number one. Here we go. Looks like uh, 105, 110. Not terrible, but it's not great. Okay, cylinder number two. So great. Damn. I mean, getting in those middle cylinders was not an easy task. It's really tight with this thing, the way I've got it. But the threads are good, which is always a good thing. Put a little grease on the threads of this and helps. Goes in, snug it up. Let's see what we got. Okay, so I guess the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'll check the valve lash on all of them, especially that third cylinder, it's at the lowest compression, make sure there's not some sort of uh, tight valve lash, and then go from there. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to cause this uh, low vacuum on all four cylinders or not, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, in we go. Check out some more in the next uh, video. Yeah, in the fall especially, it's good to keep these topped off. Just keep a little something going on them. Um, especially if you're not riding them. And right now is a perfect time to ride, so uh, you need to do that. But that's it, and we'll catch you next time.